Okay, so uh, welcome to the very first video of this focus week. The first thing I'm going to do is give you a demo. Where's it gone? Give you a demo of the vitamin E cream cleanser because that's the very first product that I'm going to be telling you about. Uh, so, yeah, that's what's coming up in a second. But I'm also in a little bit going to give you some information about the gentle facial wash as well gentle god that's a mouthful gentle facial wash uh just because they're quite similar so i thought i might as well do them in the same video so yeah so cut now to where i'm about to show you the demonstration of the vitamin e cream cleanser and then i'll tell you all about it later okay so this is the demo of the cream cleanser i'm gonna start off by putting a blob onto my fingertips and then massaging into my face. I'm just using circular motions. I'm just moving around, making sure that I haven't missed anywhere. It's really light and it's really creamy and it's really hydrating. I really do like this cleanser. As you can see, it is a cream consistency, so it doesn't actually lather up on the face. So some people like to remove this with wet cotton pads, but my preferred method is by just rinsing with water in the sink. And after I have rinsed it all off, I'll just pat it dry with a towel. Make sure you're not rubbing and pulling at the skin because that will irritate it. Uh, just lightly dab on the skin to dry it off. And the very last thing that I wanted to mention is that the good trio for this is to go with the hydrating toner afterwards and the moisture cream that I'm gonna show you now in the catalog as a full skincare routine. That's the end. Okay, so you would have just watched the demonstration on the cream cleanser. So I just wanna give you a couple more bits of information. It is really good to be used, well, you're supposed to use a cleanser every morning and every night. If you're quite new to cleansing with a cleanser, then this is the perfect one to start off with, really. It's very easy to use. It removes makeup, even eye makeup and it will remove all the dirt and impurities out of your skin as well it's very light it's creamy and the reason because it's creamy um, and because it contains shea butter that is going to mean that it's leaving your skin soft with no dryness afterwards which is what we want we don't want that dryness that dry feeling so inside it contains vitamin e obviously it contains wheat germ oil it contains shea butter all the way from Ghana and it contains soya oil which are also just some extra information community trade they're from Brazil or well, it's from Brazil and it's they we only use organic non-genetically modified soybeans so I thought that was an extra like information yeah. extra interesting bit of information for you you don't tend to find out the background of ingredients whereas body shop actually get all of their ingredients from all over the world and they're always helping with different countries and community trade and fair trade and all that so i just want to start giving you some more background information as to what actually goes into our products because it's amazing the work that we do so we also pay i think it's gabbana or jabana but i'm gonna say gabbana we pay the gabbana fa farming up yeah can't talk we pay the gabbana farming cooperative a premium to help train others in organic and sustainable farming techniques that's great isn't it so yeah that's another part of it so the wheat germ oil is actually one of nature's what is it nature's richest sources of vitamin E and then we add more so you're getting all the vitamin E which is what is going to protect your skin from environmental damage pollution the weather and especially at winter time I don't know about your skin but mine gets so dry which is why the vitamin E range has been my absolute savior at the minute as long along with the oils of life 
so perfect for the winter months using a cleanser is actually far less drying than using a soap so if you do currently use a soap they, they really do dry out your skin and they're not good for your skin at all depending on what soap it is and is no, we have a, um, a facial soap which has been designed not to be drying so you could have one that's good but in general using soap is very drying so it's much much better to use a cleanser um i think that's everything that i want to say the only thing that i did want to mention as well is briefly the vitamin e facial wash the gentle facial wash because it's very similar to the cream cleanser it's this here in the catalog right there it's called the gentle facial wash and the differences with that one is that it lathers up you would have seen in the video that it was basically a cream that i was rubbing on my face this one lathers up it's good for daily use as is this one but more of a more of a facial wash um if you prefer the lathering effect over the cream it also doesn't contain the shea butter that the cream cleanser contains so it won't be as moisturizing on the skin but if you prefer you know it's up to you it's different preferences different people uh, but I personally can recommend this one I haven't tried that one though so one day I will try that one and let you know what I think uh, yeah so why do you need vitamin E like I said about the environment that as well but at the same time vitamin e is a powerful antioxidant that helps to moisturize and protect the skin and because your body cannot make its own vitamin e we have to put it into our diets and into our skincare in order for us to have it so that's why that's how to get moisturized skin because your body doesn't do it itself so that is everything that I want to say really about the vitamin E cream cleanser and the vitamin E gentle facial wash. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do leave a comment below or a love. The, if you love the video, it actually boosts the algorithm much more than a like. So it means that more people get to see my posts. So that would really be helpful if you could do that. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions, if you want a skincare consultation, if anything really or what you thought of the video and yeah i'm okay. gonna leave you with that okay hope you enjoyed Bye. sorry just popping in here again just an added piece of information that i wanted to let you know that with the cream cleanser or the facial wash i would recommend using the whole skincare routine of a cleanser using the hydrating toner and the moisture cream afterwards just because cleanse toner moisturize are the foundation and basics of skincare and if you're not doing that at the minute and you want to you'd like to take better care of your skin then I can definitely help you out and as the vitamin E range is good for all skin types it is 100% the best place to start for beginners of better skincare so yeah do let me know if you're interested in that